everyone, so Danelle with Danelle Stitchery here, and I was tagged in some videos. I was actually tagged in this new little quilters game that people are doing and everything that creators are doing by Michelle's Crafts and more, as well as the Sean, the guy who sews. So let me start off with, with the questions that were assigned, and then I'll give you the question that I am going to add to it. As well as let you know who the three people are that I'm tagging next. So the first one was my favorite color. My favorite color is pink or purple. More along the pastel colors aspects of it. And then my secondary colors are probably had to be red, blue, teal, black, cream. Something to offset and give a little more interest. The My favorite fabric designer would... Please don't shoot me for this, but Joanne Fabrics Keepsake Calico. I've never had any problems with the fabric of that, of that brand through them. I never have any problems with it fraying, with it, my stuff falling apart. It is in almost every one of the quilts I make and never had any issues from anyone that I've ever made quilts for with it and everything. So I got to say I love that brand. And it's easily accessible for me because Joanne's is only a couple miles away from me. My favorite snack to have close at hand is my Jolly Ranchers. And yes, I order the large bags of my hard candy Jolly Ranchers and I keep it in here by my desk. So that way there, I always have it whenever I want it when I'm in here sewing. It's hard candy, so it doesn't leave a mess everywhere. I can throw the wrapper right down in my garbage. And it gives me something nice and sweet to kick that little, give me that little extra boost of energy so I can keep going my sewing. My favorite go-to block, I would probably have to say a half square triangle. Just because you can create so many different things with that block. So many different designs. And you can do it in, it can be two color, it could be scrappy, it could be tone on tone, whatever you want it to be. And you can create so many different designs with it, especially stars. I love stars. My favorite pre-cut would probably have to be either a jelly roll or a fat quarter. Jelly rolls, because you, they're quick and easy, you can cut them down to shorter pieces to make a whole lot of different things. You could do rugs with them, you can do keychains with them, you can do quilts, you can do small projects, large projects, whatever. My fat, fat quarters I love because you can mix and match, you can make a whole lot of stuff with them. You can do quilts, you can do bowl cozies, scrunchies, yes, scrunchies, because I love scrunchies. See? Scrunchies. Um, you, my favorite TV personality quilter would probably have to be the two that I started watching when I first started learning how to do quilt or so, which is um, Jenny Dunn from the Missouri Star Quilt. Especially love her, like older, a lot of her older videos. She made a lot of whoopsies. She showed shortcuts. She showed things that were like how to make things from more complicated blocks to the to easier way of making them a different way of thinking on things and then my other one would probably have to be karen brown because she takes so many different different aspects of sewing and quilting and takes it out of the box and does some really amazing stuff and i especially love her dollar street lot pa, 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 her dollar tree store hacks of things that you can buy from Dollar Tree that are very inexpensive and use it in your sewing room to make amazing, wonderful things and make our life a lot easier. I love them. My favorite time of day to sew would have to be mornings and early afternoons. By the evenings, I'm getting tired and my body's starting to ache and I just want to relax and spend some time with my family. Plus, at about 7, 8 o'clock in the evening is when my myself, my husband, and our son get together and we relax and enjoy time together. Play our games, watch movies, eat dinner, go for bicycle rides, whatever it is that we're going to do. We usually do it in the, later in the evenings after everybody's done doing the stuff that they're going to do. 
where do I store my fabrics? Which was the question that Michelle gave. I have a cabinet right here, right there, that has 10 drawers, five on one side, five on the other. It's like a dresser size. And it's great because the drawers are like fabric, like a canvasy type of fabric, and but the frame is really good and sturdy. And it allows my fabrics to breathe while still keeping them from getting all dusty and yucky. And keeps the birds from having getting their way with getting their feathers and dust all over them. And who knows what else. So, my question that I'm passing along to the people that I am tagging and anyone following them is, how long have you been sewing or quilting for? For me, I started sewing and quilting back in COVID and everything, the beginning of COVID. Well, actually before then, because I made my very first one when I was little. I was like a preteen. And then after that, I did not sew or quilt anymore because of life happening until I was, until my grandmother passed. And then I tried and made a quilt for my mom using mine and my brother's birthstone colors as well as fabric to mem in remembrance of my grandmother for my mom for Christmas that year, the first year that my grandmother was gone, which was her mama. So, how long have you been sewing or quilting for? And the people that I am tagging is Amy Dement, the Siberian Wind, which is Tammy, and So Blessed by Jets. So I hope you guys keep this going. Make sure after you answer your questions that you add on another question for the people that you tagged. And make sure you tag three people. And I hope everybody has a wonderful, beautiful day. Smile if you get out and about. Because you never know who's, who is having such a rotten day. That that smile might brighten their day or change their aspect in life. A smile, a true, genuine smile from the heart can change a person's life. Bye.